Hello and happy Michelle's Magical Monday and our Living Magically podcast. Um, I'm Magical Michelle, your host, and I am back in Orlando. We have been visiting the Glastonbury Goddess Temple. I just wanted to share this candle with everybody. I know those of you who are listening won't be able to see it, but those of you on video will. It says, for I am the lady you seek. I am the source and the return. And it is lit off of the main candle in Glastonbury. And it's just such a cool thing to share with everybody. I just wanted to have you see it. It's beautiful. What they do is pretty cool. You have a constant candle that's been there for 20 years and you actually light your flame off of their flame and bring it back into your world. So how magical is that? It was an incredible trip to Glastonbury. We went to five different locations. We started out in Heathrow and, and went through the sites of staying in Bath and the healing waters and then we we visited from there. We went to Avebury, and then we came and we stayed in Glastonbury for six nights. And during that trip, we went to the tour, we went to the White Well, we stayed at the Chalice Well, we went to the Goddess Temple. We were ha invited to come and actually have a tour in the Goddess House, which was incredible. And from there, we then went off and saw Stonehenge and went to Necton's Glen and saw the waterfall and had magical healing visit there. And from there, we went to um, the Tintagel Castle area and experienced all of the King Arthur magic, including an incredible experience with a, a painter that we got to meet. And from there, we then went to Wales and had a, a journey into castles and trees and things that were just absolutely magical and the green isle energy, the green veil energy of Wales. And then all the way back to London for our final exit. And from there, we went on to do a little trip around London, a little bus tour and Hampton Court. And I found out that there were ancient yew trees at Hampton Court. So even though we were doing all these elements, I realized that even in, even in these um, powerful castles and things that were, were from, from these royals, um, they were still in love with the yew tree, which is a very magical tree that grows powerfully there. We got to see a 3,500 year old yew tree when we were in Wales. So I could go on probably for this whole half hour um, about our trip, but I just wanna say thank you to the beautiful women who were on the trip and everyone that made it um, made it possible and and, I miss you all, and here we are back on a powerful big week. We do have a big week. We have the main event being the new moon in Cancer on the 5th, but even now we have Jupiter squared Chiron on the 1st. It's the first day, July 1st, of the new half of the second half of the year, and it is the first day of the you know, third quarter, Q, Q3, if you're in business. And so it's a perfect time for new energy. Really, really perfect for you to just, what am I gonna complete this year? And really for the Egyptians, this is actually the beginning of their year. We're getting close to their their new year. So, so it's really a really nice time to review. There is a lot of new new energy. We've got the, the stellar gateway that's lining up on an astrological 
format. We have Jupiter semi square Chiron right now. And so we're going to heal through our growth. There might be a little bit of tension. There might be a little discomfort. Whatever is showing up for you that isn't comfortable is probably where you want to put your, your energy here. There, there's a big opportunity for, for very significant personal growth and development and deep healing through this. Um, with the 7-7 portal coming up next Sunday, you're maybe feeling some expansion or desire to expand, some desire to go in maybe a completely different direction. And what you've got to do right now, if, if that's the case, is integrate where you've been. Close up all your little loose ends. What are your loose ends? What do you have to finish and and like streamline and hold on to uh, because you're going to need to integrate that. You're going to finish it, complete it, integrate all you've learned because think about all you've been through lately. Um, is it time for you to, to look at these challenges face in? Like look at them right in the eye and be like, this is where I've been this is what I've learned. This is where I'm going. How am I going to be the version of me that is ready to take that completely on? And, and because of that, I've, I've, I've personally set the fifth aside to do some, some deep personal work. It's a new moon in cancer and cancer is ruled by the moon, of course. And so the new moon is going to be a double heightened energy. You'll have double cancer. And to get there, July 2nd, we're gonna have ne Neptune retrograding in Pisces. So this is going to be a period of review. You're gonna be looking at your reflection. You're gonna go in and maybe see what you've been working on and how that can bring you clarity. Where have you been and what have you been like, what have you been not looking at that's true for you? And when you, when you pull the veil aside and you like really, really look at what is true for me, this is like one of my favorite questions to ask. And this is, this is sort of like a spiritual reassessment. Um, what have I been telling myself and what, what is actually true? This is a really good time to do it. It's a, a really good time to reconnect um, with your wisdom, with your true alignment. My favorite thing to do is, is this aligned for me? Is this truly what I'm wanting to create in the future? Is this my, you know, is this my emotions talking? Is this what's outside of me talking? I had this moment where my emotions and outside people were, were yammering in my ear for a couple of days last week. And I, I had been a little bit sick when I was in Glastonbury. And I just had this moment where I was like, I'm gonna give it all up. And, and that wasn't true. It shouldn't be true. But I was listening to things that were outside of me. And what was called for was some emotional healing. And I needed to really forgive myself. And I really needed to forgive everyone else around me. And I think that that is what's coming into play with this, um, with this review season. We've, we've got a lot of retrograde starting. It's the beginning of retrograde season. So when things are in retrograde, we're gonna wanna reflect with clarity. And I, and I love this term that, that has been coming up over and over again for me, which is spiritual reassessment. And because Mercury is also entering Leo, you're gonna start seeing a bolder form of communication. Um, you're gonna start seeing people actually talking with some, some authority. You gotta be 
clear who do you want to listen to because you might feel very clear and who you're listening to may no longer resonate with you. So start thinking about who is it that is is talking around you and is their opinion going to matter for you going forward? Th this is the important part. Who you're listening to, have they been where you wanna go? Who you're listening to, do they have the same goals and the same philosophies? Because you might be trying to base decisions on someone who could never believe it is possible to do what you want to do. And so maybe it's time to raise and elevate who you're surrounding yourself by. Who, who is your leader? And is it time to invest in someone who has gone where you haven't gone and follow with your time and your, and your energy those people that are where you want to be, whether that's spiritually, whether that's financially, whether that's emotionally, try not to be led by someone who is not where you want to be. This is going to be probably a really important thing throughout this entire election season as well. Be, be clear who you want to be led by. But I also think we're going to be really social with this, with this energy. We're going to want with this 4th of July energy to go out and be social. And we're going to want to communicate. And I always call it the I love you mans or the I love you womans, where you're going to want to tell the people who you care about, I love you and I appreciate you. So we're going to see a lot of lively discussions and and demonstrations of love and connection this week. And it's a great time. So as you're doing this review and you're finding who you love, it might be time to reach out to people you haven't um, spent time with that are better for you. So if there's, if there's someone that isn't enhancing your life at this moment and you've been spending a lot of time with them or you've been listening to them or you've been cooped up with them or you've given enough in that direction let that person slide and and seek what is going to bring you joy and people are going to bring you joy who are going to fulfill you and i think we're going to do that with this new moon in cancer and we're also going to see Uranus um, on the 5th, semi-squaring the true node. And when that happens, Uranus, semi-square, true node, you're going to maybe see some changes, unexpected changes. Anything having to do with Uranus is maybe very uh, spontaneous and, and surprising. So with this new moon you're going to want to break habits it's a perfect new moon if if you want to break a habit like drinking or smoking or eating or not exercising or not keeping something clean or any kind of thing that is an old habit an old pattern an old belief system an old limitation anything that is hindering you from being anything but your greatest self now is the absolute perfect time to make this shift. Because of the true node aspect, it's going to be karmic. There's a sense of destiny happening. There's a, a sense of opportunity happening. So if there is a big, bold opportunity that shows up for you this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that is like a wild card, a wonderful beautiful opportunity like I'm doing hand fasting on Saturday the seventh is on Sunday so so Friday Saturday Sunday such a sweet spot such a sweet spot I know that people want it to be on the fourth where 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 everything is going to be really awesome for the fourth of July but it is dark moon and it's dark moon in cancer so so you might find that you want to actually be introverted or you're having a juxtaposition 
where you want to be surrounded only with those people you love. So instead of being in a big crowd, you might find that because it's cancer season, you want to be only with the people that really get you and really understand you. So this 4th of July might be more about your favorite people than a lot of people. But this weekend is going to be more about starting that new thing and all the way into this week with the galactic light alignment we're in this stellar gate stellar gateway right now and the seven seven brings in these beautiful codes really beautiful and in fact it's such a potent thing and i try not to do activations um in-person live things on sunday because you know i like to have my days off but i've actually created a, an oils temple a sacred Egyptian oil temple on the 77. We're having that here at the Center Street um, uh, um, in Altamont if you're local. So if this is something you are wanting to do, be with us on the 77. We'll be doing that new moon energy. We'll be doing the 77 stellar gateway energy and anointing with oil. And we'll have a, a beautiful guest of having having Patrick do a sound healing for us and he is just always creates exactly the right piece of music to integrate but I'm bringing some new oils they're Egyptian oils but they have Celtic goddesses like the Morrigan and Bridget so I'm going to be bringing some Celtic Egyptian energy into this one but most importantly whatever you're doing on 7-7 there is a spiritual awakening coming for us. There is a perfect time, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for manifestation and intention setting. It's a perfect time for healing something, releasing something, letting go. There's there's overall an energetic portal, portal this week that allows for personal growth, it allows for spiritual growth, it allows for new, just new. And if it is old and it is ready to be made new again, now would be the time to bring it forward. If it is something that's been truly in your heart's desire inside of you, this is the time to bring it forward. If it is time for you to get into a spiritual practice like meditation or physical practice like yoga or a walking meditation, if it's time to clean your house or beautify your house, it's the perfect time to think about it, dream about it, start it, take action on it. There is a karmic rebirth, a spiritual, physical, and emotional rebirth happening this week and i'm getting really emotional so i apologize but but it's an opportunity for a complete reset to your energy to your dreams and a realignment so your realignment of who do you want to be how do you act as that person immediately so who do i want to be how do I integrate that energy and claim it on a cellular, emotional, physical level? How do I act in that um, way? Because when, when the true node is hitting in such a way, it's, it's a North Star, but it is also like you can't be fake. You can't be off. If you're in... in an action or a space that is out of alignment, you might find that it clears itself. And if you're resisting the clearing on your own, it might do it with this Uranus conjunction. It might do it for you. Like if you're out of alignment and you are resisting the change, it might clear the path for you in a way you don't like. So instead, with the new moon in Cancer, with these these beautiful aspects, it's time to make this action your choice. Choose you, 
choose your spirituality, choose to be here for you. I know that for me, I'm, I'm home after a pretty big sabbatical. I went to Egypt, went to Ohio, went to England and all of that in a matter of three months. So I, I kind of had planned that to be, to be one big quarter of my life of one year, all in one, one big time zone. And now with this July and the 7-7 portal, it's time to get really clear on where I'm going, where, where I'm driving and where I'm fueling my energy. And I know that the rest of you are going to probably be feeling that too. In fact, I just got shivers of truth. It's time to get really serious about your dreams, your goals, and, and in doing that, it's your body, your home life, the temple that you surround. This is your temple. Your body is your temple. Your home is your temple. And your goals and desires are coming from somewhere inside of you. And this is the moment of readjusting anything you've been doing that has been sort of not fueling that fire. If it is out of alignment, it's time to clean it out. If it is in alignment, it's time to give it more wood, fuel it with your passion. And I think you're gonna have an amazing week. Um, it's, it's really a week that's going to support your truth. If you can get clear on your truth and you can take action on it, this, this is going to be a very supportive week for that. So I hope if you're local, you will join Patrick and Marissa and I at Center Street on 7-7. And if you're, if you're interested in getting deeper into how the Egyptian temples um, work with the energy bodies of, of our physical body, and you wanna take a journey down the Nile with Egyptologist um, Noha and I, we're gonna be starting that on um, in July in a couple weeks on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We're gonna do an eight week journey down the Nile and we're going to be talking about the crystals and the oils and the different things that um, can support your body that we know from these ancient Egyptian temples and things that are written on the walls and, and these Egyptian mysteries. So it's a very affordable class and it's running on Sunday mornings. It's, it's something I'm very excited about doing is these, um, these temples and how they align to the chakras. This, this is a, it's an eight week journey and it is going to be recorded. And of course, if you really want to go for it, um, there's also an Egyptian trip that we'll be doing with Noha and Hatem next year. So lots of things to be, to be looking at. And in the meantime, this week, new energy, new moon, big seven, seven portal. And I hope you have just an absolutely magical week. I love you.